请问你好，你今年几岁了？八岁。你是第一次滑冰吗？不是。那你都平时什么时间过来滑冰呀？礼拜日。那今天是跟谁来的？妈妈。妈妈会滑冰吗？不会。你觉得滑冰难吗？一点都不难。那你喜欢滑冰吗？喜欢。啊，那你为什么喜欢滑冰呢？不是为什么，就是觉得这是一种快乐。小朋友你好，你今年几岁了？八岁。你是第一次滑冰吗？不是。那你都平时什么时间过来滑冰呀？礼拜日。那今天是跟谁来的？妈妈。妈妈会滑冰吗？不会。你觉得滑冰难吗？一点都不难。那你喜欢滑冰吗？喜欢。啊，那你为什么喜欢滑冰呢？不是为什么，就是觉得这是一种快乐。In this lesson, we observe a rather one-sided conversation between our host Tong Tong and a young guest. Let's start by looking at how Tong Tong approaches the guest at the ice skating rink. 小朋友你好，你今年几岁了？ Tong Tong calls the guest 小朋友 literally meaning little friend. Kids in China can be addressed as 小朋友 if you don't know their name. After addressing the guest as 小朋友 Tong Tong asks her how old she is. 你今年几岁了？我的小朋友岁。八岁。八岁 ，eight years old. 你是第一次滑冰吗？你是第一次滑冰吗 ？The literal translation of this question is: You are the first time ice skating. 你是第一次滑冰吗 ？First, 滑冰 means ice skating. 滑 means slip or slide, and 冰 means ice. So 滑冰 is literally sliding on ice or ice skating. It's a verb object verb. How about 滑雪 sliding on snow? Well, right, that's skiing. 雪 is snow. 滑雪 In the beginner conversational Chinese lesson seventy six, we learn that to say this is my first time doing something, we say 这是我第一次 Doing something. This is my first time ice skating. Should be, 这是我第一次滑冰 So to ask, is this your first time ice skating? You can say, 这是你第一次滑冰吗 This is a bit different from the sentence Tong Tong is using here. Tong Tong says, 你是第一次滑冰吗 By beginning her question with 你是 Tong Tong allows herself a moment's time to decide what she wants to ask the guest, because the words 你是 could be followed by nearly any question or comment. It's like saying, "So you are da 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 here for the first time in English." So you may hear Chinese people ask you, 你是第一次来中国吗 That's just a different way of asking you, "Is this your first time coming to China?" So what does 小朋友 say? 你是第一次滑冰吗？不是。那你都平时什么时间过来滑冰呀、啊？那小朋友 simply says 不是 without elaborating. So Tongmo has to scramble to come up with a way to keep the conversation going. She buys a moment's time by beginning with a long and slow. 那你 It's like saying, oh, so then. This time, Tong Tong decides to ask an open-ended question rather than a yes or no question. She says, "When do you usually come ice skate?" 你都平时什么时间过来滑冰呢 Let's look at this question piece by piece from the beginning. She begins with 你都 The word 都 here should not be thought of as meaning all or both, as it usually means. Here it holds no real meaning, but it is added simply to make the sentence sound a bit softer or more pleasant. It can be omitted without changing the meaning of the sentence. Next, we come across an old way to say usually or generally, 平时 We learned this word in our previous intermediate lessons thirteen. 周末怎么过呀？嗯，平时回家看看父母。平时 is often followed by 什么时间 or 什么时候 to form the question what time or when do you usually do something. Now for the action parts of the sentence. 
come to ice skate. 过来滑冰 The 过 here can be omitted. The difference between 来 and 过来 is like the difference between saying come and come over. Actually, the formation of the phrase 过来 contains a very useful grammar point: complement of direction. You can find more details in our grammar lesson 34 to 36. And finally, she ends the question with the particle 呢 Using the 呢 here is another way to soften the sentence and make it sound a bit more pleasant. Remember, the whole sentence can be shortened to 你平时什么时候来滑冰 Let's say the whole question together once more. 你都平时什么时间？过来滑冰呢？那你都平时什么时间过来滑冰呀？礼拜日。礼拜日 ，Sunday. For different ways of saying Sunday and other days in a week, please refer to our lecture notes. Now let's see what question Tong Tong was able to come up with next. 那今天是跟谁来的 ？Tong Tong asks. So who did you come with today? Here we come across the 是的 sentence structure. You may remember that a sentence using the 是的 pattern is talking about details from an event that has already happened. If you're a little fuzzy on this, do go back to Grammar Lesson 22 and 23, as well as Chinese Learning Tips Lesson 33 to review. But I really want you to memorize this sentence: "Who did you come with?" 你跟谁来的 Or you can say: 你跟谁一起来的 Repeat after me. 你跟谁来的 ？Or 你跟谁一起来的 ？Now let's see if Tong Tong is able to get more than a single word answer out of our young guest this time. 那今天是跟谁来的？妈妈。This 小朋友 is too funny. If she insists on single word answers, we'll have to create a full sentence answer on our own. How should we answer the question? 你今天是跟谁来的？我今天是跟妈妈来的。Remember, for content word questions, questions mirror the answers. You can also add a 一起 to make it even more complete. 你今天是跟谁一起来的 ？Answer: 我今天是跟妈妈一起来的。Next, Tong Tong asks if the little girl's mother knows how to ice skate. 妈妈会滑冰吗？妈妈会滑冰吗 ？Can mom ice skate? 妈妈会滑冰吗？不会。Yet another single word answer. 不会 ，cannot. Let's see what Tong Tong comes up with next. 你觉得滑冰难吗？你觉得滑冰难吗 ？Do you think ice skating is hard? Will the 小朋友 give us another single word answer? 你觉得滑冰难吗？一点都不难。Finally, a more complex answer from our 小朋友 She says, 一点都不难 Not difficult at all. Please, please memorize this phrase structure. 一点都不 plus adjective. 一点都不 is literally a little, all, not, and it means not at all. For example, not busy at all. 一点都不忙 Not tired at all. 一点都不累 Not difficult at all. 一点都不难 Please note that 一点都不 can also work with the verbs. For example, you might express your dislike for something by saying 我一点都不喜欢 I don't like it at all. Or I don't want to go at all. 我一点都不想去 Please note here that in this 一点都不 structure, the 都 can be replaced by 也 without changing the meaning. We're going to do more drills on this in our audio lesson review. 你觉得滑冰难吗？一点都不难。那你喜欢滑冰吗？喜欢。啊、uh, ，那你为什么喜欢滑冰呢？不是为什么，就觉得这是一种快乐。小朋友为什么喜欢滑冰 ？Why does the little kid like to ice skate? She says, 不是为什么 ，No reason. She could also have said 没有为什么 to mean the same thing. Then she explains, saying that 就觉得是一种快乐 Literally, she just feels that it's a type of happiness. Of course, you would never express it that way in English, but in Chinese, you can say that something that brings you happiness, happiness is 一种快乐 
And since it has come up, you should learn the word zhong. Zhong is a measure word used in much the same way that the words type or kind are used in English. For instance, basketball is a type of sports in Chinese is lan qiu shi yi zhong, yun dong. You should already know that kuai le means happy or happiness, as in zhu ni sheng ri kuai le. Remember the happy birthday song in Chinese? Zhu ni sheng ri kuai le, zhu ni sheng ri kuai le. Okay, so fei chang hao. That's all for this lesson. Xia zi jian. Bye bye. Oh, 这个小女孩非常可爱 This little girl is just so adorable. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned a lot. If you want to review, practice, and test what you just learned, please click here to download our super effective learning tools. Click here to go to the next lesson, and click here to subscribe to our channel. We have many more awesome videos coming, and you won't want to miss out on any of them. All right, 下次见，再见。Yo yo yo, Chinese.